Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel y'all, how are you? It's so good to have you back, I am so excited to have all of you guys here with me. Welcome to your collective love reading, okay? We are going to go ahead and do a collective reading for starting this week until the 20th, okay? So who's coming towards you? No contact if you want to touch base with what's going on with your person. So let's go ahead and find out. Yes. Yes. You guys, I am so excited. I also wanted to go ahead and share a clearing session with you before we get started. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium, and I also offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. All that information is priced below. Also, please join me for my Reiki healing giveaway session that I have up. Um, I'm also doing complimentary healing sessions as well, and I have pick a card uh, readings. I have a bunch of spiritual tips coming up for us, and I'm really looking forward to it, okay? So I just want to say that, wow, I am so excited. I'm so excited for us, you guys. We are really, really transitioning this new year. And if you are feeling extra generous and would like to donate, you guys, I know some people were a little concerned about uh, where I'm filming and, and such. So uh, a good way to support would definitely be my links below. I have Cash App. I have my PayPal. I have my Amazon uh, wishlist, my Indie Deck wishlist. And I have... What else am I missing? That's it, you guys. Okay, so I love you. I love you with all my heart. And, wow. Yeah, I really felt guided towards a love reading. I usually don't do one full collective reading, but I figured we could do something new. So before we move forward, I wanted to go ahead and do a clearing session with my painting. So... We're going to go ahead and start from the top. Listen, you guys, you do not have to be here for the clearing, okay? So I'll go ahead and put a timestamp. You can just go ahead and fast forward. So let's start with the colors here. I'm going to go ahead and move it towards the crown chakra. You guys, collectively in love, there is such a beautiful ray of light here. You guys, we have Archangel Metatron really activating your fifth dimension connections, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Right over here. So again, really... Focusing on your third eye, okay? So I want you guys to really focus on the colors here. There's something about love that empowers you this week. You are connecting with your soulmate. You're connecting with a twin flame. Uh, you're connecting with someone who is wealthy in spirit, mind, body, spirit. Okay. So you can just open your eyes, really look at the colors, and take a deep breath. See if you feel anything. You can pause. You can close them. There's such a variety here of ways to cleanse with this painting. If you guys have felt a little bit low vibe, this will really enhance your vibration more than anything. If there's been a little bit of a pull kind of around your self esteem, this week is going to be your week, you guys. Let's work on your drive, okay? Your right side here. A lot of you are meeting someone who, it's almost, it reminds me, you guys, of that saying um, you meet your person at your worst or at your mess. 
this person is really going through some shadow work, you guys. For the collective, the water signs. Some of you guys are really connecting with water signs here. Just focus, you guys, on, on feeling. Just really feeling the painting. So there's something really beautiful being spoken here, a proposition in terms of wealth or business. There's an invasion around you and your person or people are invading your wealth or your your sense of empowerment here this is because people are chatting you guys people are talking there's a lot of gossip there's judgment they want you to change something here okay so this is an invasion right this is invading your your circle but listen the gold is a reminder that Although there's an invasion here, you're, you're going to prosper. Your connection is really divinely orchestrated, you guys. You're going to feel it this week. You're really going to feel this immense energy around uh, collaboration with your person. Yes. So let's work on the thread here. Let me know how you guys feel with the painting, of course. Let me know what it's clearing for you today. If anything, if not, that's okay too. Okay, so let me know you guys. We're gonna make this quick, but amazing. Listen, I love you. I love you with all my heart. Please join me, guys. Okay. Join me on my Insta. Yes. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Just a reminder, a very gentle, gentle reminder. This is temporary, okay? Um, I will not be filming from my car forever. I do have a home for those of you who are really worried or a space. But there's, you know, it comes with politics. It's not mine. It's a hotel service. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. I cannot wait to share my experiences with you. Okay? So what's going on this week in love? Who's coming towards you? What's happening? What changes are ahead? Wow. Listen. Yes, you guys, we have the heart chakra. There's a blockage around the heart, you guys. There's something really beautiful here. A lot of you are recognizing where you feel a bit closed off. Someone here is coming towards you, but the other is really, really kind of pushing away from anything that can um, inspire love. Vulnerability, you guys, this is a theme for you this week. Some of you do not want to feel vulnerable with this person. This is a Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, or a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? I'm all cried out. There's so much around these emotions kind of coming out here. We have Tony Braxton. Um, he wasn't man enough for me. These are the songs that are coming to, to me here. Someone here left you out in the cold, okay? Someone here has abandoned uh, this connection or they have abandoned loving, okay? There's so much, you guys, around just feeling a bit conflicted. Wow, especially if you are a Leo, Pisces. Okay, so let's see here. What's coming towards you? Let's see what's happening for you. Listen, a lot of you are walking with a beautiful spirit totem here of a tiger. Okay, others a deer. I want you to look that up in terms of love. There's something very gentle here in love. Protective, okay? Others, there's this vigilance. Again, yes. We have the high priestess. Okay, speaking of spiritual, speaking of an activation of, you know, something very 
spirit of something very beautiful. This is what we have here. Okay. So listen, I do feel a lot of you are silent this week. This person, you have a beloved coming towards you with a lot of words. Okay. This person has secrets to expose, but something about feeling almost drawn to be silent. Okay. There's messages. I'm getting a lot of energy coming towards you. There's blue orbs around you. So we have Mercury. We have a lot of fifth, fifth chakra energy, throat chakra as well. You want answers, but a lot of you are, are holding back. Okay, there's something around your love life right now. You're activating a lot of the moon energy. There's uh, the moon influence here. You feel very mysterious. You feel very at peace with yourself, and you want to know, but there's silence. Others, you have an Aquarius that's madly in love with you. This is an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting an Aquarian energy. There's a secret crush here. This person has been watching you at a distance, okay? They're activating an amulet to come towards you. This person uh, does spell work or they're really interested in kind of working their magic with you, okay? So let's see what's going on here to speak for you, pile. Oh, the collective. Okay, the 12th through the 19th, the 20th. Let's extend it to the 20th here. Some of you are confronting this person. You're confronting the past. I am seeing a very, very old tie here. It's a thread that's connecting you to this person. You want answers. If you needed closure, it's coming towards you. Someone's heart here is really blocked. So we have success and growth, okay? Listen, this is a divine masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. This person, they are really rich in terms of um, their vision. This person is really ambitious. They are coming in with a focus to conquer you. They want to conquer this love at all costs. They're really focused on what you're doing, okay? But a lot of you, your heart has been closed. You know something here. Listen, the collective, this person knows that you knows, excuse me, that you know some kind of secret here, but they're remaining silent more than anything, okay? So, excuse me, you're remaining silent. Someone here is really focused on knowing. This person wants, it almost feels as if they want to connect with you telepathically. They're trying to kind of get this in their favor here, okay? So the amulet is about overpowering this connection or overpowering you to get their way. Be aware of someone who is a little manipulative, you guys. This person is a soulmate contract, okay? Um, their heart is a little wounded. They do want to talk about uh, this connection, but the approach here is going to be more around um, how they can grow with you in wealth and business rather than, you know, just something super heavy, okay? So let's see here, what's going on this week, who is this, tell me a little bit more here, let's see what's going on for you, so we have rest and reconsider, okay, listen, this person is going to come in with straightforward communication, they want to talk to you, they really want to get to the point here, okay, I feel they've written a letter, or they're trying to compromise in love. This person left you out in the cold, okay? You guys are still feeling the wound, or you're still feeling really hurt by this. A lot of you are deciding to reconsider this person. Although you may love them, or although you feel very divinely connected to this person, there's something about this that you feel as if you need to retreat. I have to think about this. A lot of you really listen, my loves. You sacrifice so much of yourself here. So let's see what else. Wow, guys, this is getting juicy. What is going on? This person uh, wears a really nice necklace, or it looks like a, a pendant of some kind, but it's an amulet. It's really powerful. I do see conversation, forgive me, please forgive me, okay, 
Neptune is very present, it's orbiting your environment. There's something around this love that is a risk. It's really idealistic. There's such an intense feeling around the senses, the dream, or even the way they speak it into existence. It sounds poetic, as most Pisces are really great at doing here. But I have to be very honest, you guys. I, I'm getting a lot of illusion. Okay, so make sure that you're grounded. So what's happening here? What's the center theme for you? Yes. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Listen, you guys, this person is very silent about their love, but they're very interested in you. There's, right now, at this moment, they're coming towards you. They're a bit upset about something. So you've really rocked the boat here, okay? You may have said something on social media or something is happening on social media. This person is really upset here or they're hiding a lot of their pain. They're jealous. Something around being jealous, okay? So this person really wants, it, it feels as if they want to offer you this beautiful cup here. They really want answers. This person is really firm, you guys. Although one foot is off their pedestal here, it, they're firm about their vision with you, but they want to know the truth. They want the truth on something, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else. General, listen, you guys. My spirit guides are showing me they have the code for something here, okay? Something around the code. There's a code to something you wanted to know. This is what you're silent about. Their emotions are really, really intense right now. Wow. For a lot of you, this person wears dark blues, or they wear a lot of uh, darker colors. Okay. So let's see what's happening in general in love for you this week. Wow, you guys. This person is coming in upset. Reminds me of that song, uh, Maya, The Best of Me, you guys. Is that song, The Best of Me? Yes, this is it right there. There's an obsession around you, something that they recently saw around numbers or something around your social media really triggered this person to come back, but your heart is closed. Some of you are just fed up, okay? You are like, show me something here, show me something different. Wow. So there's a lot of worry and anxiety about not having you. So this week they want to communicate you guys. I'm also having a vision here of a bridge that isn't fully in alignment, okay? It almost feels as if this bridge has really collapsed around truth. So let's see. What's coming towards you in love? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's something very uh, still about this person, okay? They're coming in with a lot of show. So the King of Cups, you guys, they are never showy. However, something about this person, they want to show you who they are. They may kind of throw money down at the table or, excuse me, on the table or they're throwing some kind of finances, something around wealth. They want to impress you here. And they really want to work with you. But your person, listen, your beloved is still hurt, okay? They are out of a divorce or they're fresh out of something. And their work is really reliant on watching you. Something about watching you here. So this is where they feel most empowered, where they can kind of collaborate or... Both of you have similar styles of love languages around uh, your identity. So I don't know why this is stressing you guys out, especially if you're a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or if you are a Virgo, a Leo. Some of you want to work at like your own, your own pace. A lot of you guys would like to just work on your own practice or just kind of your you're a bit in the space of wanting to kind of do something by yourself, okay? So what's coming towards you this week? Let's see what's happening. So we have a page of pentacles in reverse. So I do feel that this is about, um, listen, this person, 
I am getting something around this person here. I feel it's it feels obsessive. They want answers around something, okay? They really want to know, but there's a drop of the ball here. They are dropping this offer or some of you are saying, listen, I know, but it's too much too late, right? That's Sabrina Claudio song. It's one of my favorites. Uh, too much too late and um, problem with you. It's it's almost as if you're saying, I just don't, I don't think I see it anymore. Okay. So let's see, guys. Let's see why. Someone here is, it's almost as if they're territorial. They're coming in with a lot of passion. They really... They really want to let you know that they see a future with you, but they're afraid to offer the pentacle, okay? They're really afraid to offer you this connection. This is because they're hiding something around their vest. Let's take a look at their vest here. <laughs> I love the King of Cups. My only fear around the King of Cups is um, there's stillness around their emotions because underneath this this cloak here, they are incredibly, um, they're dangerous when they're upset or they're dangerous when they're threatened, okay? So let's see what else. Wow. Let's get a little bit more on why. Listen, if you are Aries, Leo, Sag, this person is not happy about other people and they're afraid to lose you, okay? So there's something around wanting to really kind of establish territory with you. They feel as if they know that you're going to reject them or they have some kind of feeling around it. So we have the fool here. So you guys are embarking on a new journey. Somebody here is saying no to an offer this week. But this person wants to tag along or they really want to connect with you, okay? So a lot of you are saying, I want to be free, especially if you are an Aquarius, okay? Or if you have Aquarius placements or Aries placements, this person um, is very watchful of how you kind of negotiate work, something, they're really obsessed with your work or your career, okay, some of you guys want to break that tie, it's almost as if, do you love me or do you love what I do for work, okay, this is what you want to know, do you love me for who I am or is it because of you know, my status or vice versa, someone here wants to know what's going on. Okay, your person watches at a distance here. They're a guide, you guys. Both of you guys are really protective of this love, but the feminine energy here, you're saying, I, I just need freedom. If it's not going to be love that really embodies mind, body, spirit, I don't want it, okay? So be aware of also, listen, there's something around dealing with this person. They have other parties, you guys, especially if you're a fire sign, other parties that want to kind of dim you, they may mock you, they may kind of make it really uncomfortable because of who your person is. This person, um, there's something around wealth here, status, okay, so there's a lot of uh, degrading words here because the, the women or the men, it doesn't matter you guys, that they have here, they, they don't want to see this person leave with you, okay, or they don't want to see this person deep in this bond, and a lot of you are like, girl, bye, I'm, you know, I'm free, you can have this person, okay, you can have them, so let's see what else is happening here, for both of you. wow, this beautiful tree of life you guys going for both of you, it almost feels as if this week you'll notice that work is on the forefront, work is really, really, really important to both of you, you'll put your love aside and you'll say, how can we collaborate? How can we grow? Okay. So what else? This person, for others, some of you, if they have a Virgo moon or they have Virgo in their chart, very prominent, or a stellium in Virgo, there's something around uh, closure. This person wants to come back in your life, but you're gonna. It, it almost feels as if somebody here is saying, I'm, "I don't want to do it anymore. I'm over it. I'm closing this door." Okay. So let's see what else. Also, insecurities, please be aware of people um, trying to make it seem as if, you know, there's something around this person, um, they're dating, they are incredibly popular, 
there's a wave of people here who are mentally thinking uh, neg negative things or some of you are models okay you travel a lot you're gorgeous whether you're male or female and they know so you know I call it their posse here a lot of these people that kind of being out with this person they want to trigger a lot of uh, insecurity around you so be aware of the, the thoughts okay because there's something about your mind you're very spiritual okay you haven't told anybody some of you are clairvoyant you're clairaudient you're mediums so you, you're telepathic you can really feel what they're thinking don't fall for it okay well, we're not having that right now we are not doing this we are thriving this week so what else you guys okay so the chariot and the verse okay so listen This person, it feels as if they can't handle this person cannot handle your movement or a lot of you are saying, listen, I'm ready to move on, okay? Or I'm ready to kind of get over this. I don't I don't really, you know, there's a lot of I'm ready to let go and something around trying to stop you from your progress. If you're not going to be with me, then I don't want to deal with it this week, okay? A lot of my pavana. Um, if I can't have your love, then I'll take your rain away, okay? So listen. <laughs> Talk about petty, girl. Yes, we are going there. Okay, but seriously. <laughs> This person, they are um, inviting a, a form of change, okay? Either you reach a compromise or it's going to be all or nothing with this person, with the chariot here. The chariot in reverse. Something is coming to a halt, you guys. This person may want to travel with you. You're not having it. Or I'm getting a lot of, let's reevaluate. Others are so in love with this person, but there's a lack of movement. But let's see what else. See what else is going on here. Okay, so we have the lovers. Okay, listen, you guys. This person may be a twin flame, or you're recognizing an activation of a twin flame union for some of you. For others, this is again a soulmate. I'm getting a strong soulmate here. You guys just really want to reconsider this connection, okay? This person is going to come in with an ultimatum, their ego. You guys, they cannot handle no. They cannot handle a no. There's something about you saying no that is really triggering to their ego. But divine, divine intervention with Gabriel and Michael here. They really are looking up to you. Something about your light inspires them to change or they really want to change something um you know they want to change for you guys they they do okay it just it takes time they're tempted between you know the, the heavens and also what's underneath their feet the serpent so we have adam and eve here they're really tempted to sway but something about your love is really encouraging here They know it. They're going to have to make a decision between you and another air sign, you guys. Or I am getting um, a Sagittarius. I am getting a Libra. Or a Virgo. So here we have decisions around whether they choose this ascension with you or they keep the path of a karmic. Wow. Listen, girl. So what's coming towards you this week here between you? What's the outcome? Listen, this person has a lot to say. They're coming in with a lot of chatter on the phone. Okay. This person um, almost feels as if their choice is through the phone. Okay, they're going to want to speak uh, loudly or something. There's something around just a lot of heated uh, words or just very temperamental. have 
there's so much to say to you here. There's a lot of uh, call and hang up, you guys. A lot of ushers here. Yes, girl. These are my confessions. The devil in reverse. So listen, this week the advice is to come out of any negativity, you guys. There's something really... I'm getting a lot of you guys. You're saying, I've been there before. Have we moved on? I've been there. A lot of you, you're breaking free from a lot of the past. You no longer want this toxic energy of back and forth, makeup to break up sex, or you just, you're really in a place of standing really firm, really confident. Okay? And a lot of you just want to break free from this devil energy. This is, if this is a karmic, you guys, for most of you collectively, I don't feel this is a karmic. You are coming out of a major cycle here, okay? So let's see, what is the outcome? There's something around your enlightenment. Look at this person with love, but also think about your future. They're a temptation, okay? They're a little more of a temptation to lower your vibration. vision of the number four, you guys, stability and security. Wow. Listen, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is what I was feeling. Look at what this person is presenting, you guys. Is it lust or is it love? Is it something that is um, grounding or is it fleeing? Is it something that brings in this, again, Neptune? Guys, whenever I see Neptune in a reading, it really, really inspires a lot of creativity, a, a lot of love, and it also inspires a lot of um, temporary emotion. So there's a lot of energy around feeling conflict, okay, or conflict around what is permanent and what is short term, okay? So be aware of this promise. This person wants to promise you something. Is it worth it, okay? This is someone who, it's like they, they're not really pulling through, you guys. Okay, this person, there's an outpour of their offer here. Okay, so let's see what's the outcome. Two of Swords in reverse. So listen, you have a decision to make, okay? Try to make this decision from your highest place possible. Or just more of a higher vibration, you guys. Please be aware. This person is not really committed right now. Or it, some of you, it's almost as if, can I keep you? I just want to keep you. I can't lose you because you are moving on. Okay, I love you. Bye.